Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Tonight I am making a carbonara dish. Uh, ben on YouTube, aka Cha-Ching, asked me to do it. He said he can make the best carbonara in the world. Never made a carbonara, I thought I already did, but I haven't, so I'm going to try and make it. Um, obviously you're not going to know what it tastes like, but I'm just going to tell you that it's amazing, so that makes me the winner, right? Uh, you'll be able to hopefully smell it. Like, it's like smell vision okay? You'll be able to smell it. I have got myself a pan of water on the boil with a little bit of salt there. Another frying pan with a knob of butter just sat there, not overheat. Just chilling out, yeah. I've got 250 grams of pasta, that's spaghetti. That's a special type of pasta called spaghetti, you might have heard of it. This is a shallot chopped up, and that is a shallot just to show you. You just need one, so just chuck that away. I'm just showing you for visual purposes. Uh, that is a piece of garlic chopped up. Six rashes of bacon, diced, you know, nice and big chunks, but you know, still chopped up, not a whole slice. No. 150 ml of single cream, two eggs, yolks and whites, and 60 grams of grated Parmesan cheese. That is what I'm using, my friends, to make mine. So, without further ado, you need to catch up with me, get all that ready and get a pan of water on to boil because the first thing we're going to do is cook our spaghetti folks yeah right here then guys the water's boiling away and do you remember we did that funky thing with the spaghetti before where we twisted it let's do that cool see that i'm going to show you all nice and evenly done i love that i just chucked it in remember i learned that on the jamie Oliver website we did it before and it's kind of like an obsession you just start twisting things and throwing them everywhere so uh yeah do that if you can and it will just swirl around so just help spoon it in okay Nice. It'll cook nice and evenly, honest. Yep, so that's all in there bubbling away. Can you see that ring? Oh, I nearly put my finger in that hot water. Eh, eh, don't want to do that. Right, that is in there cooking fantastically. Just going to get my pan up to heat now. As you can see, it's starting to melt the butter. Get that all around. And then we're going to cook up our shallot, garlic and bacon. Uh-huh. So let's get that in there once that's all done. Yep, so in goes the bacon and then the garlic. Just drop that in there. I'll grab your shallots. In there you go. Wicked. Now, just give them a good stir around. You want to cook it all through till it's nice, golden, and brown. Keep your eye on the spaghetti. And we've got one other thing to do with the rest of our stuff. Loving it! Right, so while that's cooking away, doing its thing, and it smells amazing in here, by the way, grab yourself a bowl like this, and first of all, get your eggs and plonk them in like that. No particular way, just you know, just slop them straight in. And then your cream. Mm. And then, you see this parmesan there? We want the majority of that in there, so let's do that. Cool, so a nice big pile of parmesan there and a little bit left over. What we need to do now is also just give it a darn good seasoning with some black pepper. So grind away on there as much as you like. It's going to give it a nice kick. Woo! Super duper, that just looks like a load of ants crawling all over an island, but it's not. It's actually pepper, my friends. Grab a whisk like this and bond it all together, okay? Make sure it's all beaten up, the egg, and it's all... Nice and bonded and joined and loving it and you know what I'm saying, just bond it all together. Right guys, that's all nice and bonded together, looking good. The spaghetti, I just pulled a little string out like this and went and it is amazing. So, so good. At about 10 to 11 minutes that took, you've got to try that twisting thing, it is amazing. So turn it off the heat, drain it off. And also, if you look at the colour of this bacon, I don't know if you can get that. It's starting to go nice and brown and that is what we want. The shallots and the garlic bonded together, the flavour of it. Fantastic! I'm loving it! So anyway, drain off your spaghetti and catch up with me. Woo! Right, you hear that's all drained off. Taking it off the heat, but it's back in the original pan just because of the warmth still there. What we're going to do is pour in our eggy mixture. Nice! See that? It's covering it, baby. Get as much of that in as you can. And then we're going to add our bacon mixture in to there. Let's do that. Super duper. Let me just come out a little bit. Grab yourself a spoon and start to work it all around. Join it all together. Remember, you've got a little bit of parmesan, a little bit of parmesan left over, and also some black pepper to finish it at the end. So I'm going to stir it and stick it on a bowl, and that's what you'll see next, my friends. Cheers. Bowl. Carbonara. Amazing. A little bit of parmesan on top of that. Brilliant. Hopefully, you can see that just hanging out on there. It's going to melt very quick. So let's get our black pepper on there. Boom, there we go then guys, a nice little sprinkling of black pepper on there and I can smell it. I've got a little taste as well, a little cheeky little taste on the side and I'm so excited, I feel like jumping up and down. I'm loving it. So let's have a big forkful in our mouth and see ultimately what it tastes like. 
Right here then guys, that is what it looks like. It smells amazing in here. Let's have a little try, we've got a forkful. As my food critic tasting face, I go, you know, like when people drink wine and taste it? Wow, guys, I just had a carbonara gasm. That was unbelievable. Ben, I'm sorry man, thanks for the suggestion of the recipe and I'm sure you can make a darn good carbonara, but this one, 20 minutes it took me to make it. I'm loving it. Sorry, dude. If I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on. You can mix up carbonara any way you want. Chuck loads of stuff in. So uh, enjoy it. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Hi, Fat.